Howdy everyone, Prairie Ranger here. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a secondary keyboard, a macro board. So there's a few things that you're going to need in order to do this. Like, first you're going to need auto hotkey, obviously. You'll need auto hotkey. You'll need, and you'll need the macro board folder that I'll have listed below. I'll include the demo, demo script that you can do. Now, and you'll also need Lua macros and secondary macro keyboard master. Because, so first, what you're going to want to do is download this. And as you see, we can edit this in Notepad, what this does. So it's a simple script that basically it detects if your keyboard, the keyboard, which is the keyboard you're pressing. Now you're going to need to know your keyboard ID, which is where the, the Lua macros thing and the secondary macro keyboard master comes in, because you can get this using the main, or er, well, not the main, but Lua macros, and then you load, get key codes. So, for this is, I have it set up on my main keyboard, so it says here that if it is not the main keyboard, which is my USB keyboard, and, and I have a secondary keyboard, which is a PS2 keyboard, it detects if it's the first keyboard, and then if it's not, then it'll take the inputs from the other keyboard and detect them as a macro. So this code here, what does this code here? You can simply code anything by putting like, for example, we could have C and then we put in these two brackets and then we say, for instance, we want it to or not to see, we'll do Q. So that means when we press the letter Q on our secondary keyboard, it will take that input and then we enter, next line, we use the send command, which causes it to send some sort of input. So we could make it type in, for example, it could put in a P. So when we press Q, it sends P, and then we enter again and type return. And return is just so that the script doesn't, uh, it just makes the script work and not lag, I think. So we have various commands, and all you need to do is just set these all up and you can add more. I did a few, just one through minus on the keyboard, and you could set up all of them. One thing to note is you can also have other commands. So it could be like if you wanted to press Q and say for instance R, you do the R symbol. So then it would take Q and R. When you press both of those together, it would send P. So that's how you do that. And now, how do we get this? How do we get this? this? This thing. How do we get our keyboard ID? Well, that's simple. First, you go into Lua Macros, open up the software, and then press this button here. Then you go and open the secondary macro keyboard master, get key codes dot Lua, and open it. Then we press the run button. So if we press the key on our main keyboard or on our secondary keyboard, depending on how you want to set up the script. For me, I had to use if not, See right here, if not, because 
it was still sending the original inputs, but it may be different if you have a USB keyboard. So to get first, we press like on the main keyboard, any key, so M, and then it says macros. We copy this to, up to the this bracket here, then control C, and then well, sometimes you have to. Yeah. You just copy this. <coughs> Normally it works. I think I did something different before. But you just, you can also write it out. I think it's because I have. You can just get that code. So you take this code, you can copy it. So then once you have that, you paste it into here and replace this. Don't replace these little like quotes. Just paste it in there. So if you have a PS2 keyboard, another thing to note is the code will be it listed here? Well, we'll just, I'll show you. So we press J. Oh, my key, the keyboard isn't plugged in right now, but it would go P and P would be the code. So then that means that it'll, it'll work with the text, this keyboard, the main keyboard as an input, and then when you press on the secondary keyboard, it'll work. That's not important, I was just fixing that for. Anyways. So then you have all your inputs here. Then all you have to do is say, oh yeah, and one thing to note is this, this, there's little various, like this arrow and this exclamation mark is actually um, detected as control shift and then this is an equal sign which it'll put out equals but there's various symbols that mean certain things to the program so this see control shift one and I can show this in the in the OBS so then you can take the OBS and press the button and then it'll detect that you're doing it. So if we go into settings here and go in the hotkeys, you can see that, for example, my switch to this scene, one here, so when I press control, I guess exclamation mark is actually alt. So when I press one on the keyboard, my secondary keyboard, it'll detect Control Alt 1 and then switch to the scene, which would be this scene. Also, check out our stream. Uh, we have one coming up on Friday hosted by Mackenzie, so you'll be playing a space game. I forgot the name of it. But yeah. So that's how you do that, and then when you press it, it will, like when you press your command, it'll switch to the scene. So yeah, if you do have any problems with the script, um, just let me know in the comments down below, and I can see what I can do. I'm not the most skilled at writing scripts, but this one is pretty good. I got some help making it, but yeah. One little thing to note is, um, there's this little macro streamboard thing here. That was just an old version of the script. It won't be in the final release copy. And the LIB folder, that's short for library. It just has the two reference ones, namely AHKHID script and the KeyBDHID, key which are just references which call certain functions and 
make the script work. You don't really have to worry about adding them, but this is like what this one is. This is a little class one. It just had the text things and that's things. It's nothing you need to worry about. If you need to edit it, you just go right click, edit a script, or you can edit with Notepad or Visual Studio or any software that you use, really. It's just a simple script that, uh, yeah, does things to work. Well, you just, you, you just gotta, you know. And I'll also include one thing in the description, something about uh, a website link to all of the commands, or most of the commands. It's good to keep reference of the auto hotkey, um, it's not called a wiki, but repository sort of thing. It tells you all the various commands, you can also see it in the actual auto hotkey program. And yeah, that's all you need to know about this, pretty much. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need to know about the script. That's pretty much everything. I'll we'll have all of the resources, auto hotkey, Lua macros, and the secondary keyboard, uh, whatever it was called, secondary macro keyboard master, as well as the macro board. You can download that all in the description. This is pretty much a plug and play system. I know there's been a lot of tutorials that I've been trying to find, and it's all just been very hard to find any sort of thing that works simply. This is the easiest, most comprehensive, if it's not, it's probably me being confusing. But this, all you need is just change that keyboard thing. I've set some up already. You can go ahead and add in your own code, you know, simple, just, put in the number, the letter, or whatever, numpads or anything like that, it's, and, yeah, it'll work pretty easily, just get this with the other program that I showed you how to do, this will work good, and be sure to, if you did enjoy this video, consider grilling that like button, subscribe if you wish, and this has been Prairie Ranger with a very interesting tutorial. Over and out. You know, I find myself to be something of a scientist myself.